party in the wood. It was a beautiful autumn morning in the Hundred Acre Wood. So beautiful, in fact, that it made Winnie the Pooh feel like celebrating. All I need is a pot of honey, said Pooh, and friends to share it with. Torch set out to find his friends and happened upon Ear now. Ear was a rather glum sort of fellow. A party would be just the thing to cheer up the donkey. Ear, said Pooh, how is it that you are at home, but your tails is not? Isn't it? Answered Ear. It must have fallen off while I was sleeping. I'll go see. Offered Pooh. He crawled into Ear's house and searched high and low, but the tail was nowhere to be found. Could you check my backside again? Asked Ear. In my experience, whenever my tail wander off, it eventually wanders on again. I'm sorry. To reply. It's still not there. I can't weigh as I blame it. Ear admitted. If I were a tail, I'd probably get tired of following me around, too. Well, we can't have a party until you have a tail. Said Pooh. Let gather our friends, together. We'll surely find a new tale for you. Pooh went a few steps when he noticed a pinnacle lying at his feet. Perhaps it would make a nice new tale for a year. He picked up the pinnacle and examined it closely from all sides. Too short. Too sticky. Too prickly for a tail. Pooh decided. Too cool. Pooh went home to give the matter some more thought. It was hard to concentrate, though, because his Pooh clock kept Pooh cooing. Suddenly, Pooh's little brain had a rather big idea. Pooh rushed back to Ear and found their friends had their drown. He presented a year with the Puku clock. Why, thank you, Who? Ear remarked. Then he tried on his new tail, which everyone agreed was very becoming. Now we can celebrate, declared Pooh. He was about to reach into a honey pot for a little smackle. Crunch, when suddenly the clock let out a loud Puku. It startled Ear, who toppled over, and crushed the newest, noisiest part of himself. I think I fell back when I should have sprung forward. Ear explained. Well, if springing is what you want to do, why didn't you say so? Asked Tigger. He gave Ear Tiggerific stripes, and then attached a large coal to the donkey's backside. Hoo 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 hoo, just follow me, buddy boy. Tigger said, bouncing away, but poor ear couldn't quite get the hang of it. The search for ear's tail continues. What about this? Asked Rue. He presented ear with a yo-yo. You can make it do tricks, or not, said Ear. Next, Piglet gave Ear a moose head. Ear tried it on, but really couldn't make heads or tails of it. Try this accordion, suggested Owl. I'm afraid I'm not very musical, Ear reply and when he tried to play his new tale, he proved to everyone just how right he was. Rabbit offered Ear a weather vane from his garden, but as soon as it was attached, thunderclouds began to form, and a lightning bolt struck the weather vane. Shocking, 
said here once the smoke had cleared. Have just the thing to replace your tail, said Kang, pinning a lovely whereupon scarf to Ear's backside. Hori, said the donkey approvingly. Honey time, Pooh exclaimed. But before Pooh could take even a taunty, Ear caught the new tail on a bush. The tail and Pooh's party plans quickly unraveled. He looked more plum than ever. I have something that will lift your spirits, said Christopher Robin. He fastened a cheerful red balloon to the donkey. My spirits aren't the only thing it's lifting. He observed. Sorry, Eeyore, said Christopher Robin, removing the tail. We can find something more useful. Try my umbrella. Owl said. I have found it to be very useful on many an inclement that is stormy occasion, and you do seem to get rained on more than most. Owl. I guess I still will. Replied Ear. Since the umbrella ended up in exactly the wrong place to keep him dry. By now, Pooh really was quite anxious to get to the party part of the day, and he thought he knew a way to move things along. Say hello to your new male ear. He exclaimed as he placed a party hat on Ear's rear. Sorry, Pooh. Said Ear. But I just don't think my bottom ought to be happier than the rest of me. There are worse things than losing a tail," Ear said. Though I can't think of any right now. He thanked his friends for their efforts, and then decided to return home. Ear may have given up, but Pooh was more determined than ever to find a tail his friend would like. He wandered off. And was looking high after what she planned on looking low, when he spotted something that took his mind off of Ear's tail altogether. Where there's bees, there's honey," said Pooh, thinking that his tail search would go much better with a tummy full of honey. So Pooh reached inside the beehive. He felt the sweet, sticky honey inside the beehive. He heard a low buzz. Then suddenly, a large swarm of bees poured out of the hive. Oh, bother! Said Pooh as he took off running, and as he ran, he vowed that he would not be distracted. From his tail search again, Pooh ran all the way to Owl's house, hoping that one of his friend's many books might hold the solution to Ear's tail problem. As Pooh rang the bell, he thought there was something awfully familiar about Owl's bell rope. Come in, come in," greeted Owl. "I see that you were admiring my new bell rope." Sit down and have some honey while I tell you the fascinating tale of how I came to find it. Pooh listened and Owl described how he had found his newest prize possession stuck to a thistle bush. Oh," said Pooh. "I believe your new hell rope used to be well, actually, still his ear's tail." Now that you mention it," replied Owl. My bell has been sounding rather gloomy ever since I attached the rope. I mean, tail, please return I T T O I R with my best wishes, won't you, Pooh? A short while later, Pooh delivered the rail to its rightful owner. Deer trotted in a circle, and the tail swung pleasantly from side to side. The donkey breathed a sigh of relief. Yeah. 
that's my tail, all right? He declared, with ears real trouble solved, to gathered all their friends together again. Party time at last. He announced, I love parties, cried Rue. Are we celebrating finding Ear's tail? Yes, replied Pooh. That ban honey. <laughs> and friendship. Added Ear, remembering how very hard everyone had try to help him that day. Friendship most of all. The, the end. end. Hello my friends, how are you? What a beautiful adventure it was. We had so much fun. Hope you had fun with us too, right too? Yes my friends, I hope you like our story. We found Ear's tail and also got some delicious honey. Finally, I learned a beautiful and funny lesson from my donkey friend Ear when he said to me, Sorry, Pooh, but I just don't think my bottom ought to be happier than the rest of me. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. We will, we see, will you see you soon, soon again, again on, on new adventures. adventures. We, we will miss, miss you. you. We, we love, love you. you. Goodbye. Goodbye.